some things that are just like too much. Well, let's make it and find out if it's tasty or not. I'm working, mama. What the hell you got me doing? <laughs> so Joyce and I were chatting about unconventional yes. food pairings and one particularly stood out to us. Cheese and apple pie. Cheddar apple cheese. Apple pie. American apple pie. Well, everyone eats With apple pie. With a slice of cheese. Cheddar cheese and apple pie is apparently definitely a thing. So our challenge today is to kind of make it and find out if it's tasty or not. I just really want to know like what it's like, what they love about it. So let's see if there's anyone here that has had it before. Okay. I trust the tasty audience opinion. Okay. We're going to ask them? Yeah. Now let's wait for the results. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell you got me doing? <laughs> Looks like someone in our office has had it. Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hello, hello. Hey, Patrick. Thank you for having me. Cheddar apple pie loving Patrick. Okay, all right. I've tried this type of pie before mm. and it wasn't terrible. I mean, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, quite honestly. I'm very confident that we'll all, you're gonna have a slice and you're gonna be like, wow, what was I thinking? And maybe it'll be your new favorite pie choice. To be my favorite pie, you have to work for it. You have to twerk for it. You have to pay the rent for it. Are we twerking for pies now? Always. No, I don't. All right, so I have a bunch of work to do, but I can't wait to come back and try this pie. It's gonna of be great. Course, yes. Okay. Get out of my face. You Bye. got it. Bye, Bye Patrick. Guys. If I had to make a cheddar cheese apple pie, I gotta make it my own and really make it intentional. Hopefully, it'll be something that we both like. Uh, for some reason, so, I thought the cheese grater was me. Well, help. So peel it first with this. Okay. We're gonna be here for a while. Cool. Let's make crust. I have flour, some salt, a little bit of sugar. I'm gonna get some butter mm. and cheese. All right, let me grab it. Once I was a peeler, I was petrified. Peeling apples every day of my stinking life. Okay. Hey. So I'm just gonna cut this up into like chunks. It's gonna give us our flaky crust. Now normally with this pie crust, I would put in three sticks of butter. Mm -hmm. This is two because cheese. I'm still peeling. I mean, it's gonna do very similar job as the butter, but just add in that extra flavor. How are those apples coming? I'm working, mama. Chop, chop, do chop, do chop, chop, do chop. Okay, um, if you could please hand me that large pitcher of water. I have ice. Ooh, ice, just like my exes say I am. All right, ice cream. Okay, I thought you were gonna hand that to me and I made an awkward move. Can't wait for America to trash me. Okay. Speaking of America, what are the kids saying? The poll was at 17% yes, 83% no. Honestly, 17% is a higher than I thought. We have someone say nasty because of the texture and the saltiness, gross. I don't know, cause it's tasty. That's disgusting, put a scoop of vanilla ice cream like a normal human being. Apple pie without cheddar cheese is like a hug without the squeeze. Hashtag Vermont. But if a whole state yeah. stands by it, like, they can't be wrong. Yeah. Right? How are those apples coming along? I did three. So you're halfway there. She knows I'm lazy. I'm gonna chill this dough. Kinda looks like the dough for the Red Lobster biscuits. I have never frequented a Red Lobster. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. Okay. I'm really not good at angling this thing. Like, I'm too aggressive for that. I just like to destroy. Hi, are you almost good with those apples? Yeah. I can lend you a hand. Oh, with now that. she wants to assist when most of the work is done. Or actually, I will help you slice the apples since you're doing such a splendid job at peeling them. So now that our apples are peeled, cut, sliced, it's time to make the filling. Mm. So we're gonna drain this off and then yes. macerate the apples. This is like what makes the pie magic. This step this right here. Step. Okay. This is it. Cause usually no, filling comes in a can. Oh God, no. Draining that, draining that, draining that, draining that bee. So we're not gonna add like a crazy amount of sugar, but we're gonna use two cans. Okay. Some brown sugar and some white sugar. A little bit of this. Ooh. I love brown sugar. It's so pretty, like me. Brown sugar is fast. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon, all spice. Have you ever had jerk chicken? Yeah, that's what it's like. This is like here. that, this is what gives jerk chicken that flavor. And it goes, but not too much. Fresh nutmeg. 
fresh. You gotta have it fresh. Wow. Look how Ooh. pretty it is on the inside. Wait, wait, wait. Look don't at like that. <laughs> you don't like the way it looks? What do you mean? I have typophobia. <laughs> Tripophobia? Yeah. Well, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Now, salt helps us enhance whatever flavors you're working with. Yes, so I've used salt before. Do you want to give it a squeeze of lemon? Oh, God, finally. Make sure you don't get seeds in there. I see a seed coming out. Oh, oh boy. I'm sorry, I'm stronger than I look. So I'm gonna use a mix of thickener, flour, and cornstarch. Now everything's in there, we're just gonna mix all together. And the macerating process of like just letting it sit down is what's gonna soften the apples up. Mm, macerate. This is like the dream team. This is like NBA, Circa, those Carl Malone, yes. Jordan, yes. Scotty Pippen yes. days. Yes. I think they are all beautiful and combined. Yes, to I all? massaged them just the way you asked me to. Okay. I said toss, not massage. Macerate. Key to cooking is tasting along the way because it tastes good. Mmm. No? It's like I don't even need to eat a pie. I just had a whole pie experience. So I have our chilled doughs. We're just going to each roll one out. Just like press, press, press. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So I think my cross tab is big enough. Do you want to give it a go? So guys, welcome to Joyce's Kitchen. We have a visiting guest. Her name is Guest. So then I'm going to put a little flour on this because, you know, Chef Bar RD. I went to the school of Chef Bar RD. Yeah, you know Chef Bar RD was a real dude, right? Really? His ravioli is good, though. I've heard. I'm yeah. doing this right, right? Maybe, too, you can also flip it. Hmm. So, in an hour when Joyce is done rolling out a piece of dough, we're gonna put together the pie. I'm gonna kill her. <laughs> this is really good hand massage. Oh, that one's definitely going on the water. Oh, okay. I'm out, I'm out, I don't even, I'm out. I feel like I'm gonna destroy this. I'm very- You're in sweet spots. I'm, I wanna be delicate, but I'm not. Pie time. Pie time. So to make sure it all makes it to the pan, you're just gonna roll your dough onto the rolling pin, and then unroll it onto the pan. So now that the bottom one is in there, we can start layering the apples. The most important part is to make sure that, that there's no gaps. I can make sure there's no gaps. I do that with my foundation every day. <laughs> I'm gonna help you out a little bit, just to. It's like I'm too slow for you tasty folks. So I just wanna get it in my belly ASAP. Boom, 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 yes. I'm a crust queen. Mm. Ooh, I forgot what we were doing. This is a cheese pie. So I was like so excited to eat our we pie. You can see all the cheese right now. So now that all this is done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flute the edges. Take your fingers like crab claw, and then the other finger goes like that, but in the pie. You're definitely fluting the heck out of it. You must be a master fluter. It so does. final step, this is what makes it nice and shiny and beautiful. Do an egg wash, just like one egg, just mm -hmm. beaten up. I'm just gonna paint the pie. Ooh. Yes, paint, 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 paint. It's a final step before pop it in the oven. Yay. Fragrance the kitchen with that cheesy, cinnamony delight. I can't believe I'm eating this. My stomach really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> to the oven. To the oven. After an hour of baking, your pies will look something like this. So we have two pie situations happening over here. We have the OG classic apple pie, and we just melted a piece of cheese on top. And then the one we made with the cheddar crust, also with the cheese on top. I'm excited to try it. So let's get Patrick in here so he can try it with us. Patrick! Patrick. Hello. <laughs> we have pie for you. Have you tried them yet? No, we haven't tried. We're waiting for you. Okay. Oh, try together. Wow, wow, wow. So I think maybe we should start with the traditional one first. Okay. Okay. Not like underwhelming, but it was a lot. It was calm. Yeah. yeah. No, I love this. This was delightful. So this one has cheddar in the crust as well as on top. I love that. Oh, I did it a lot more in there. Yeah, way more. Very decadent. Now, day is over. Is apple pie with cheese on top tasty? It's tasty. It 
It is. Like I'm not mad that it is. I'm actually glad. I would have hated for us to put all this work and for it to be like bleh. But somehow, you know, it holds its own against the pie, but it doesn't oh, overtake wow. it. Well, cheddar, apple pie lovers, I understand. I get you. I just think the hardest part of me is swallowing my pride and saying I was wrong. <laughs> I wonder what other foods. Cashman eggs is delicious. Crazy. Only Yo, you are eggs. crazy. Some things that are just like too much. I heard ketchup and cereal. Too much. <laughs> that one's too much. You I have heard... to bleep that. That is like so offensive. <laughs>